now we are with Lara Inks. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Lara is the director and administrator of the Graffiti Project, a nonprofit project that we're going to be talking about. But first, Lara, I want to know how do you get involved in arts? Well, I have a degree in art education, and I've been a, an art educator for about 20 years. And uh, recently, I've become a social activist with the art education as well. Oh, good to good to hear. And I think with us, all social activism and everything, the graffiti goes very well on that topic. So what's the mission of uh, this project? Well, it's actually three-pronged. Um, the first part is getting graffiti off the streets. Um, a lot of these artists, they, they make their art just to have it seen and have it, you know, be out there. Mm -hmm. And um, the idea is having them come off the streets, off of buildings, and putting their work onto canvas and boards and other movable objects so that I, I can actually um, uh, approach galleries and coffee shops and restaurants to have the work shown. Um, our goal is to have four exhibits a year mm -hmm. and a monthly events. Um, so that's one part of it. Um, and we have seen a, a reduction of graffiti on the street since we started our program. We've, we buy paint for the kids, but we also count the cans that come in. And we've taken over 750 cans off the streets. Mm. So I know that those cans would have been on architecture and buildings around Santa Barbara, which it is not now. So that's, yeah, good. that's good. The second part is um, really about uh, job education, mm -hmm. um, teaching the kids that their art is valuable that they can actually make money with it. I've gotten um, three commissions so far for pieces from either, um, actually we got one from the Chamber of Commerce, one from uh, the Hutton Foundation, they want a piece, and also um, a private individual that has a business wants a piece inside of his business. And then we also have a shoe company that's been giving shoes out to the kids to create designs on the shoes and that's hoping great. to get them some contracts um, with their designs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really teaching them that their art is valuable and it's also about educating the public as to the style of graffiti art. Um, graffiti's not just going out bombing and putting their gang tags. symbols uh -huh. and tags, you know, and messing things up, but it's really a legitimate, beautiful art style that's revered around the world. And in fact, in most big cities, there are actually places where there, it, are, it is sanctioned for them to go out and create their art, which I would love to have here in Santa Barbara. That's something else I'm working towards. The third part of the project is really about mentorship because a lot of the kids that we work with, their, their ages are 14 to 24 approximately. The older ones, um, a lot of them are on probation for tagging and other misdemeanor crimes um, and they've kind of been there, done that and so now there's younger kids coming into it and we can kind of cut to the chase, like just mm -hmm. start getting them job opportunities, start getting them showings. Um, instead of them just kind of putting repressing their stuff, them or, yeah. repressing them and telling them they're bad, they can't do it, treating mm -hmm. them like criminals. It's more about treating them like artists. And um, they come with sketchbooks and palette, you know, color palettes, and they want certain colors of paints that they want me to purchase for them. And I say, come on, get in the car. That's good. Let's go. How often are these meetings? Um, well, we have, we're, we're trying to do monthly events right now mm -hmm. so that it's a consistent um, process. The kids can look forward to it. They can save their spray paint that they collect to come to the events to put, put the paint on canvases. And um, it gives them something to look forward to. And not only are we doing visual art, but um, we have bands coming, we have dancers coming, we have their spoken word, their poetry, their rap. So nice. And it's, it's just a whole thing of teen street art. Um, that is coming together to create these events and there are kids from all different sides of town from east, west side, north side, um, you know, the, they love it. they're all different races, all different socioeconomic backgrounds. It really is art that's bridging the gap between all these kids to let them know that they're all artists and that they have a community of artists that they can count on and come and participate with at least once a month. And what's the parents' reaction? I'm curious. <laughs> <clears throat> it's really cool because the, the parents are actually showing up to the art openings, the parents and, and their siblings, and you know, it's like a family event because nice. normally these kids are hanging upside down under a bridge at three o'clock in the morning doing their work. Mm -hmm. We're here, they're in a sanctioned environment that's cool, we have food, uh, everything is um, really relaxed and the families actually come and watch them create and appreciate their talent. What about funding? Because you know you provide canvases, painting, so 
Right, well, we're always searching for funding. Um, right now, I'm working off some monies that were donated for scholarships towards kids in the arts, and so obviously this goes for that. But we're always looking for um, venues, places to hold the events, um, large parking lots would be good. Um, anything that's connected to businesses that want to have um, this constituency come there. Um, anybody that wants to donate to the project or volunteer time, we love people to come and help us cook, clean up. So you need um, constantly set volunteers. Up constantly volunteers, um, financial backing. I'm writing grants. Um, I'm approaching uh, donors just with you know letter writing campaigns or going and meeting people to get money towards the program because I really feel like it is making a difference. Definitely. And getting kids together from all different uh, sides of town and letting them know each other as artists, it, it you know it, it's breaking the barriers of the gangs and the other things that are out there where you know you get to know somebody and it's different than you know they're just on that other side of town. Definitely, yeah. So it, it, it gets, really is bridging the gap. It's a community event. It is, definitely. it really is. Well, thank you, Laura, for being with us. We, we have such a short time for our interviews. How can we contact you? Um, anybody can call me or email me. My phone number is 886-1540. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv or call 963-3893.